So today we're going to be looking at the light independent stage of photosynthesis, which is also known as the Calvin cycle. And here we are going to see how the light dependent stage is linked to the light independent stage as we take into account those energy molecules that have been created through the cyclic and the non-cyclic photophosphorylation processes that would include that of the ATP and the reduced NADP. So these energy molecules will donate electrons to form that of carbohydrates. And so, you know, in a nutshell, the Calvin cycle looks at the whole process by which carbon dioxide is fixed to form carbohydrates with the help of that of rubulose bisphosphate, carboxylase, oxygenase. All right. So right here, we are going to be looking at uh, the cycle, as the name suggests, the Calvin cycle or the light independent stage where we have the carbon dioxide, as you would have picked up from the whole um, equation for photosynthesis, that carbon dioxide is a central or important ingredient or reactant in this, in, in, in this um, respect for the process so that carbon dioxide will be fixed in the first step in the Calvin cycle where carbon dioxide is bind to a five carbon sugar called rubulose bisphosphate to form um, an unstable six carbon compound with the assistance of rubisco that's the enzyme now that unstable six carbon molecule will split to form two three carbon compounds as you can see right there in that of the reduction phase where one of the three carbon sugar will be added to that of the ATP and the reduced NADP from the light um, dependent reactions to form that of carbohydrates. So it is one of the three carbon sugar with the addition of the ATP and the NADP, that's the reduced NADP, from the light dependent reactions, those produced from the processes of cyclic and non cyclic photophosphorylation, those will add electrons to that of the three carbon compound to form that of carbohydrate, which is stored as, you know, sugars or starch um, in different you know types of plants now what happened to the other um, three carbon sugar is that it will combine with ATP to form rubulose bisphosphate which is the five carbon sugar which is used to continue or to regenerate this you know the, the, the cycle so it is important that this is done for the continuation because the cycle must be sustained so just a quick review um, of the Calvin cycle is that first we have carbon fixation where we have the carbon being added to rubulose bisphosphate that's a five carbon compound with the help of rubisco to form an unstable six carbon compound which will later be broken down into two or three carbon sugar and one will be used to produce carbohydrate by the addition of ATP and reduced NADP and the other will be used to regenerate or for the continuation of the cycle by the addition of ATP to form that of um, rubulose bisphosphate, the, car the five carbon compound that will always be used to fix the carbon in step one. So basically you should be able to you know capture this and to appreciate the the, the the production of the ATP and the reduced NADP in that of the light dependent stage and how is it that that stage fuel the Calvin cycle so though they are um, you know two separate stages they are closely linked so if there is no um, light energy to facilitate the production of the ATP and the reduced NADP 
what will happen is that the Calvin cycle will not be able to function because it relies heavily on these um, reducing agent or high energy molecule to fuel its operation in terms of the production of carbohydrate and the regeneration phase by combining ATP with that of a three carbon compound or one of the three carbon compound to form that of rubulose bisphosphate. All right, so in short, that is what the Calvin cycle um, is saying to us. All right.